Tadam! Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Weekly Korean Life Class. My name is Kejin. 안녕하세요, Kejin입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchim입니다. Hello, hello, hello. 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? <웃음> 안녕하세요, Sumi, Chris, Ashaha, uh, Serena, Hi, and Kwati, Nikki. Great! So today, we are going to talk about a grammar. Mm. <laughs> it will be a 30-minute Korean grammar lesson and I'll be talking about 이라는 that is cold. Well, this grammar will be especially useful for you because we use this grammar to give some extra information about something. And when you go to Korea, I'm 100% sure you will talk about a lot about your country, your hometown, or the food in your country stuff. And Korean people are maybe not very familiar with the food or culture or stuff. Then you need to use today's grammar. That's why you need to watch until the end. <laughs> okay, 안녕하세요. Uh, I'll learn Korean, which changed the name. <laughs> you changed the name from Japanese to Korean. Yay! <laughs> Kishore, uh, Emily, Veronique, Lightspeed. Okay, and on Facebook too. 안녕하세요. 다들 잘 지냈어요? <laughs> and as usual, before starting our lesson, I have an announcement. 공지사항이 있어요. 안녕하세요, Caroline, Lisa, Brian. <laughs> what is Lee in Korean? Lee is a common family name. Cody, 안녕, 안녕. <laughs> and Bora, uh, Amy Lynn. Okay, so let me show you something. Jan, do you see the banner? Get 40% off. Yes. <laughs> now we are doing a special sale. So if you're interested, if you're interested, click the link in the description and you will see our um, page like this. <laughs> so. Yes, it's our special paid for this month campaign. Yes. By the way, a lot of people are confused like, oh, your website is paid. That's yes and no, because as you see here, we do have free membership. And of course, if you want to learn more Korean with our premium uh, tools, then you can pay, but it doesn't, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to. If you are not sure if you want to continue learning Korean with Korean Class 101, start from free. <laughs> so even with free account, yeah, you can get a lot of things. But with the premium member premium membership, well, there are even more. Like there are uh, assessment, and you also have uh, access to your teacher, and you can talk anything about Korea, Korean language. So check it out. And if you are not happy with our program, we have a uh, money back, money back guarantee <laughs> in 60 days. So you can get your money back if you're not happy. So check it out. We have a lot like free membership. Well, you still have a lot like 50 lessons or first three lessons of every uh, pathway. New lessons are always free and like tons of vocabulary list. And you know that we have lots of PDF infographic those are all free so basic premium premium plus cool <laughs> okay <laughs> and these are some frequently asked questions so if you want to know more about our program check it out huh. <laughs> i'm now browsing the page but anyway now we are doing the 40 percent off on our website you will be able to access over 2,000 Korean lessons. So there are tons and we are adding new lessons uh, regularly. So with Korean Class 101, you will never run out of learning materials. Yes. <laughs> okay, check it out. Okay, so I think our students are ready to learn Korean. Okay. <laughs> Usually I give some um, um, announcement because I need to wait for more students to join. <laughs> when we send out the notification, it takes some time. So students need uh, several minutes. So now, <laughs> now uh, we can start. And how long was it on? 
how long so you can choose a period of um, your subscription if you meant by the, uh, our Korean class 101 membership <laughs> you must pay extra to work with Chim Chim <laughs> yes if you uh, but Chim Chim doesn't teach Korean personally I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start today's lesson. Jan, do you see this? Yes, 이라는 is the today's grammar. So if you translate it directly, is that is cold. That is cold. Jan, yes, this is the advertisement that I just talked about. So it's forty percent off. That's pretty big, and it's ending very soon. So, oops. Next page. <laughs> yeah, let's start lesson first. So, 이라는, 이라는, if you really want to translate it into um, English, that will be like, that is called, for example, um, 제주도라는 섬. 제주도라는 섬. Let me write it down. Uh, my example. Jeju-do라는 섬. Do you know Jeju-do, by the way? If you are not very familiar with Korean cities, then you might not be familiar with this name of this island. So Jeju-do is basically an island. And I was thinking that you might not be very familiar with this name of the island. That's why I'm giving the additional information. Ah, you know? The island called Jeju-do. So Jeju-do, Jeju-do라는 섬, Jeju-do라는 섬. It means the island called Jeju-do. Island called Jeju-do. Or, um, do you know any Korean book? Let's use the most popular one. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter라는 책. So it means Harry Potter. You know Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter is in Korean. That is Harry Potter. Harry Potter and 라는 is like 라는 is like that is called that is called and 책 means book book. So I can just say, do you know Harry Potter? I can just say that Harry Potter 알아요? Harry Potter Harry Potter Arayo, this is okay. This is okay. But we often use this ranen to give some additional information. What category is it? Like, do you know a book called Harry Potter? Or do you know, I can just say this too. Jeju-do arayo? Do you know Jeju Island? Do you know Jeju-do? Jeju-do is the name of the island. So I can say, do you know Jeju-do? That's totally fine, but you want to give some additional information because maybe you kind of thought this person is not familiar with um, Jeju-do, so you kind of want to give category at least. Jeju-do라는 섬. Do you know the island called Jeju, Jeju Island? Jeju-do? <laughs> Do you know the island called Jeju-do? So I give some additional information. So basically it means not so different from 제주도 알아요 or 제주도라는 섬 알아요? It's not so different, but I just give some additional information. So as you can see here, the function. Jan. <laughs> it's a phrase used to indicate or refer to something or someone by name, name, name. And as a foreigner, this will be very useful because I'm sure you'll be talk talking about your uh, country, country's food, traditional, like culture, um, what else? <laughs> Name of the city. So Korean people are not familiar with it. So if you just say, imagine, you know nothing about USA <laughs> and you want to talk about New York. New York is a popular city, so I'm sure the Korean people know that. But imagine Korean people are not familiar with your country's uh, city. So you want to give some additional information, like 뉴욕이라는 도시 어, 알아요? 
Actually, not only 알아요, you can change to other form like um, 좋아해요. So it means I like the city called New York. I like the city called New York. So you give just some um, extra information with the name, name and the category. Mm, very good. So when I write, <laughs> when I write some Korean, yes, please keep typing. That would be a great, 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 great practice. <laughs> Okay. Ah, by the way, Kwati, that's a good try, but please know that you need to use the name first. 침침이라는 고양이. So you put the name. In English, the order is opposite, right? The order is like this. Uh, a city that is called New Oops. New ah <laughs> New York. So in English you put city city first, 도시 first. And that is called 나는 and New New York, the name of the city, right? Name of the city. So in English you say city that is called New York, but in Korean, in Korea we put the name first, New York 이라는 도시 New York 이라는 도시 so the category comes later remember Korean word order is very different from English and very often sometimes it's opposite <laughs> that's why please remember the word order is different anyway I just want to give you the uh, some examples examples to uh, help you understand the translation and I think I think you understand pretty well. So let's move on and learn Korean. Yes, um, no, I don't know. <laughs> learn Korean is asking, is Chimchim a cat? Chimchim is a cat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I guess yes. <laughs> but I never heard Chimchim saying meow, meaning meow. <laughs> so I don't know. 어, 퀴사간 안녕하세요. 가일럼 알아요. Good. <웃음> okay, so let's look at the conjugation. Conjugation. 짠. It's very simple. Noun. You just need to put noun. Noun. The category. Category. And say 이라는 or 라는 and put the name of something. Name of something. So if a noun ends in a vowel, then you use 라는, 라는. If a noun ends in a consonant, then you use 이라는, 이라는. And you already saw the good example already. 짠. So let's look at this. Noun, 짠. Noun ending in a vowel. For example, we have 짠. We have this. 제주도 제주도 is the word is this noun ending in a vowel or consonant 제주도 오, 오. it ended with this right this is o sound o o o 제주도 o o it's o sound it ends with a vowel so that's why i used 라는 라는 제주도라는 제주도라는 and if you been learning Korean for a while you probably know this very easily because if something ends in a vowel then usually the next conjugation start from the consonant such as 라는 라는 if something ends in a consonant the next conjugation next conjugation usually start from the vowel so you probably know that but not always this this has exceptions, so not always, but very often. But anyway, this was example. Another example is 뉴욕이라는 도시 뉴욕이라는 도시 뉴욕 뉴욕 Ah, it's the name of the city. And then 뉴욕 뉴욕 Oops. It ended with 기억, right? 기억 뉴욕 욕 욕 is ending with a consonant yes since it's ending with a consonant i'm using 이라는 
이라는 here. 이라는 yes. 이라는 and and you put the category like is it city? Is it a book? Is it an island? So you put the category. So the conjugation is simple. It's just 라는 or 이라는 you need to see what something the name ends with. All good? 티앵한 안녕하세요. 감사합니다. <laughs> okay. A f e a r s is almost similar to American Sign Language. I didn't know that. <laughs> And Avanced, 안녕하세요. Ah, Lisa, that's a good example. Uh, 김치라는 한국 음식. So that's a good example. So 김치, 김치, 김치. It's the name of Korean food, and maybe some people are not familiar with uh, kimchi. That's why you can give some explanation, or you know that they know this information very well. But still, if you want to give some additional information, you know, I love kimchi. You can just say I love kimchi, or you can say, Oh, I love uh, kimchi, which is Korean food, or I love Korean food called kimchi. In English, you can say that if you want. By just giving some more additional information, so it's like that. So kimchi, kimchi, it ended with vowel sound e e e. So uh, Lisa used 라는 김치라는 한국 음식 있어 category. What category is it? Is it 한국 Korea 음식 food? So Korea food or Korean food? 김치라는 한국 음식. 김치라는 한국 음식. 스토 안녕하세요. <laughs> ah, sumi. That's actually opposite. Opposite. So it's not 보조개라는 아 uh, 노래라는 보조개. 노래라는 보조개. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So basically, it should be 보조개라는 노래. So 보조개 is the name of the title. Name of the title. Make the title of a song. And 라는 라는 means is called 노래. 노래 means song, song. So the word, word is opposite. The word order is opposite. Please be careful with this. So if you think this uh, is difficult to remember, just think 라는 here is used like which is, which is. So I like 보조개, which is a song. You can translate it that way for a while, but the literal meaning is uh, that is called. That is called. So, 보조개 is put the name first. The, the important part is this. Put the name first and 이라는 and say some noun, which is usually uh, the category or the type of something. So, here's an example. Hmm. 침침이 Let's use different name. <laughs> mm. Any name? Any good name? Let's use uh, our our uh, user's name. So, 코디라는 사람 코디라는 사람 It's okay. 코디, I think you are from the USA, right? So, 코디 is person. 라는 It means like that which is or that is called. So, this is just a kind of equal. Oh. And then you put category. 코디 is a person. So, <laughs> category is 사람. Or, you can also say 코디라는 미국인. 미국인 means uh, American, an American person, American person. So, 코디라는 미국인, uh, an American, that is called 코디. <laughs> If you translate, or an American, uh, uh, 코디, which is American. So, 코디라는 미국인. You can also say 코디라는 미국인 친구가 있어요. So, 미국인 친구, 미국인 친구 means American friend. So, 있어 means I have. So, I have an American friend called Cody. Cody. 
So it's an example. <laughs> so name, you need to put the name first. It's a quote. Or, ah, Noel, 감사합니다. <laughs> or you can also say, Noel 이라는 학생. Noel 이라는 학생. Noel, name of someone. 이라는, well, this is today's target grammar. And category is 학생. So, oh, there is a, a student called Noel. Noel 이라는 학생이 있어요. It's okay. <웃음> okay. Nikhil, very good. 보조개라는 노래. 티아한, 저도 너무너무너무 감사합니다. <웃음> what do you call? 아, chili paste. I see. 고추장. Store, I think you are talking about the chili paste. The 고추장, right? 고추장. <웃음> 고추장. So you can say, 고추장이라는 양념 or sauce. 양념 means sauce. And sauce is from the English word. We use this um, word directly. So, 고추장 is name of the sauce. Name of the sauce. And I was guessing, hmm, you might not know what it is. So, I give you category at, as an additional information. So, 고추장이라는 양념. Or you can say sauce. 를 소스 넣으세요. <laughs> I use, I try to use the Korean word because sauce is easy for you. So <laughs> let's use 양념. 양념 means sauce. So 넣으세요 means please add. Please add. So I'm saying please add a sauce called 고추장. Please add some sauce called 고추장. 고추장. <laughs> 고추장이라는 양념을 넣으세요. And Angela, that's a good try. 좋아한지라는 and please don't forget to put please don't forget to put the category. Category. 좋아한지라는 친구가 있어요. I have a friend called 좋아한지. That's okay. But usually works with this category. So name. Name 이라는 category. Name 이라는 and category. Diella, 안녕하세요. <laughs> Okay, are you okay with the conjugation? So basically, just as a review, if this name, this name, if the name ends, ends in a vowel, then you use 라는, 라는. If the name ends in a consonant, then you use 이라는, 이라는. Okay, so let's move on. Let's practice with this one. <laughs> let's practice this one. So, um, first, can you try this? 대구, 대구, 대구 짠 is the name of the city and 도시 means city, city. So I'm giving you both name and category. Name and category. Name and category. Name, oops, maybe I put here again. So name and category. Can you conjugate it? 대, 대구 and 도시 using today's target grammar 이라는 이라는 So 수미 Very good. You did an amazing work. Uh, very good. So the answer is 대구라는 도시 도시 So it means it's a city called 대구 City called 대구, or city that is called 대구, 대구, 대구라는 도시. So for example, I can say 대구라는 도시에서 왔어요. Someone is asking, oh, where are you from? Where are you from? So I want to say, oh, I'm from 대구. And some people might not be familiar with the city and they're like, is it a um, city or a small town or is a country's name is island? So I would just want to uh, make it clear. So I say, oh, I'm I'm from a city called 대구. 대구라는 도시에서 왔어요. 대구라는 대구라는 도시에서 왔어요. And 밀자나, that's a very good example. 까르보나라라는 스파게티를 지금 요리해요. 
까르보나라라는 스파게티를 지금 요리해요. I'm cooking spaghetti called 까르보나라. <웃음> 까르보나라. <웃음> This is Korean pronunciation. 까르보나라. 까르보나라. Very good. 짠. How about this? Let's try this one. 현진. 현진 is also name. Name. And 사람 means person. Person. So, how can I say a person called 현진? A person called 현진. <웃음> Wow, we got the answer already. That was fast. My error, very good. So the answer is, the answer is, first name, 현진 이라는 사람. By the way, now I used 이라는 나 라는 because 현진, 진, 진. It ended with consonant. So consonant plus 이라는. If it ended with vowel, then I use 라는. Like take previous in previous example, so 현진이라는 사람, a person called 현진. Very good. And please remember, we do not add space here. We do not add space here. Remove space. We don't add any space here. So ah, Ganesh, that's an amazing example. 네팔라는 나라. This is very good, very good. But first, you don't need a space here. Remove space. Second, 네팔, 네팔. It ended with consonant sound. Consonant, like 네팔, 팔. So, since it ended with consonant, you have to use 이라는, so 네팔이란 나라. So, for example, you can say, Oh, I live in a country called 네팔. 네팔 is 네팔이라는 나라에 살아요. 네팔이라는 나라에 살아요. <웃음> so this is an example. So another example. 현진이라는 사람. Let's complete the sentence. So a person called 현진. 현진이라는 사람을 추천해요. How about, how about this? How about this? <웃음> so for example, um, I need to um, recommend someone, someone for a position in my hobby club yeah imagine as a hobby um, i mean book club <laughs> book club and now they are looking for a sub leader sub leader so they said hmm, who can be the sub leader uh Kajin, can you recommend someone so i said yes 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 i recommend someone called hyunjin hyunjin because by the way hyunjin can be a girl's name or boy's name it's very uh Neutral. <laughs> so, oh, I recommend someone called Hyunjin because he or she is very diligent and he or she loves reading and they are always um, arrive on book reading club on time, <laughs> very punctual. So, I recommend someone called Hyunjin. So, Hyunjin 이라는 사람을 추천해요. Mm. Okay. By the way, Mumbai라는 인도 that doesn't work because Mumbai, Mumbai and Indo is not the category category. So Mumbai라는 도시에서 왔어요. So I'm from a city called Mumbai. Mumbai, Mumbai and Indo it doesn't make sense. So please be careful. Because Indo is also a name of something already. So it's not a category, it's name itself. And Mumbai is also a name. So you cannot put name and name, name and name. It should be category. It's more like generic words, general words. Like island, person, country, movie, something. <laughs> okay, so now let's try this. Dujins is also a name and idol, idol. It's idol. It's idol group. You know, K-pop idol <laughs> group. And we already got the answer. Kwati, very good. And Sumi, amazing work. Mayera, yes, you are right. So, Jan, let's put the name. Name is New Jeans. New Jeans is name of Korean K-pop girl group. New Jeans, 라는 아이돌. New Jeans, 라는 아이돌. <laughs> 
유진스 I use 라는 here because 유진스 end it with vowel sound so 유진스 라는 아이돌 아이돌 음, 아이돌 어, you can oh you can also 가수의 팬이에요 팬이에요 <웃음> so 유진스 라는 아이돌 가수 아이돌 means idol singer idol singer so 팬 by the way 팬 means fan so I'm a big fan of I'm a fan of 의 is kind of of so 이에요 means is so 팬이에요 means I'm a fan 의 of an idol idol singer or idol group called New Jeans New Jeans <laughs> so again 뉴 진스라는 아이돌 가수의 팬이에요 it means I'm a fan of an idol group idol singer called New Jeans New Jeans Okay, very good. <laughs> oh, Mayara, your army of BTS. Then you can say this. 방탄 소년단이라는 가수의 팬 팬이에요. <laughs> 방탄 소년단 is the name of BTS in Korean. So 방탄 소년단. By the way, you know why BTS BTS? 방탄 방 start from B. I know if you are army, you already know it. But for the people who are not so interested in BTS, it's just information. And T T T 방탄 탄탄 it is it start from T. So B T 소소 start from S. So 방탄 소년단 방탄 소년단 B B T S B T S or. 아미라는 팬클럽 소속이에요. 소속이에요 is a little bit difficult word, but 소속이에요 means I belong to. I belong to a fan club called 아미. 아미. I belong to, again, I belong to 팬클럽. It means fan club. 팬클럽. I belong to a fan club called army <laughs> maybe useful for you army <laughs> okay so let's try the last one actually we already got the answer for this 기생충 기생충 is name of korean movie 기생충 is parasite have you seen it i watched it and i watched it and it was a good movie <laughs> 영화 means movie movie <laughs> 아 티앙한 감사합니다 and 아이라 you did a good job correct and we already got the answer from other people um yes Mayara already said the answer very good oh Cloud Un isn't it Epikai not Tepikai Epikai I also like Epikai <laughs> Lisa very good Very good. Your example is correct. 저는 한국어라는 새로운 언어를 배우고 있어요. Perfect. And uh, Leila. Awesome. 아즈드라는 나라에서 살아요. 잘했어요. 아즈드란 도시에서 왔어요. <웃음> okay, so let's try this. Learn Korean. You are right. So 기생충. It ended with. Ended with 기생충. Consonant. So I'm using. 이라는 영화 So it's a movie called Parasite 기생충이라는 영화 기생충이라는 영화 Means a movie called 기생충 기생충이라는 영화를 봤어요 봤어요 means So So it's a past tense of to see, right? So have you seen Did you see or have you seen a movie called Parasite in Korean 기생충이라는 영화를 봤어요? 기생충이라는 영화를 봤어요? Okay, very good. Oh, you did an amazing work today. So please remember, the rule is you need to put name first. Name first. And give category later. The word order is opposite <laughs> from English, right? <laughs> That's the confusing part. But you did a great job today. <laughs> 방탄소년단이라는 K-pop 그룹 있어요. Raji, perfect. JD 기생충 영화. Oh, actually, that's correct too. 기생충 영화 is movie, 
무비 어 기생충 무비 파라사이트 <웃음> 마이라 땡큐 오 노우 마이라 유 디드 그레이트 잡 투데이 잘했어요 <웃음> 짠소 Do you have any questions so far? I think you don't have any questions because you did an amazing work. And especially as a foreigner, this will be very useful, very useful. As I mentioned many, many, many times today. <laughs> because when I uh, go abroad, I need to talk about Korea a lot. And not so many people know about Korean food if they're not interested, right? So I have to say, So sometimes they ask me, Kejin, what is your favorite food? Then I say, 떡볶이라는 한국 음식을 좋아해요. So if they ask me, what is your favorite food, Kejin? I say, oh, I like a Korean food called 떡볶이. 떡볶이. 떡, rice cake. 볶이 means still fried. By the way, it's a rice cake, but a lot of my European friends said, oh, this is, this, doesn't look like rice it's more like pasta <laughs> so i guess <laughs> to europeans this kind of food looks like pasta so don't be so surprised if you think oh i thought this rice cake but it's different <laughs> then don't be surprised but i would say it's between pasta and rice cake <laughs> uh, asaha serena yes that's the 방탄소년 소년단 By the way, BTS in Korean is 방탄소년단 Yeah, it's difficult to write it, right? 방탄소년단 이라는 is called 가수의 팬이에요 It means uh, I'm a fan of a singer called 방탄소년단 <laughs> Okay Sumi, class is very good, but time flies fast. I know, you know, the class ended already. <laughs> and Kylo, oh, you don't have any questions. 질문이 없습니다. 네, 알겠어요. <laughs> That's very good because you understand very well today. <laughs> yeah. If this lesson was difficult, please, please, please uh, rewatch it. We upload this video on Facebook and YouTube right after this life <laughs> okay uh aisha omg i feel like korean language is so easy if you teach yes korean is not so difficult if you learn one by one one by one yeah if you learn a lot of things at once it's difficult but like today <laughs> we learn just iran and one grammar right <laughs> then it's not hard so please keep watching my life <laughs> Every Thursday is 1 p.m. in Korean time. 1 p.m. If a person's name ends in a letter Y, how would you change it in Korean? By the way, just Y doesn't exist in Korean. In English, there are like sky. Sky, right? There are like sky. It exists. But in Korean, we don't have Y signs basically. Always we need something after Y. So... Uh, imagine there is a cafe called sky so let's make this sentence cafe called sky so sky is the name of the cafe a cafe called name of <gasps> learn korean thank you so much for your donation 감사합니다. <laughs> 감사합니다 i'm glad you liked this lesson and you learned a lot right you did a good job today. <laughs> so, that's a very good question. So, sky in Korean pronunciation, that is sky. See, it's not ending with Y in Korean. So, there is no words end with Y in Korean. <laughs> so, sky, e, e. Does it end with a vowel or consonant? Sky, e, e, e is vowel sound. So, sky, ranen, the category is cafe. So, for example, e, e, e means here, e means to. So, you go to school, you go to work, you go to friend's house. <laughs> so, e means to, to, to. 갈래요? First, ka is from to go, to go, 가다, 가다, to go. 
And 레요 means would you like to? Would you like to? So 갈래요 means would you like to go? 에 to 카페 cold sky. <laughs> See, Korean word order is very different from English. Very often it's opposite. <laughs> Let me translate the sentence again. Leo, would you like to go? Kata, go. So, Leo, would you like to go to cafe called Sky? <laughs> so, Sky라는 카페에 갈래요? Sky라는 카페에 갈래요? 코아티 almost, almost, please be careful. 하늘, 하늘와 sky is the name of something. It's not category. So you should say 하늘이라는 카페, not 카페라는 하늘. It doesn't make sense. So please remember, you need to put, you need to put the name first. Name first. <laughs> the word order is confusing, right? For Korean people, the last word is the most important thing, very often. So in Korean, we say, until you listen to someone, um, until the end, you wouldn't understand what the person's intention. Yep. That's what Korean people often say. 말은 끝까지 들어봐야 알아요. <laughs> it means you have to uh, listen until someone finishes speaking. <laughs> So without, if you just uh, listen until they have, then you don't under, you don't know their intention because very often Korean, not very often, we always put the verb or adjective at the end of the sentence. Uh, in that case, how would you know if the cafe is called Sky? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's actually intonation you have very very good question <laughs> Emily actually this intonation for example first first sky sky 라는 카페에 갈래요 sky 라는 카페에 갈래요 sky 라는 카페에 갈래요 it's good good but ska first first <laughs> Ska is end with a vowel, so you cannot use 이라는. 이라는. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But I understand what you mean. So for example, let me make a random name. Random name. Random name. <laughs> Cajun is not so creative. Okay, like this. 침침이. Or 침침. 이라는 카페에 갈래. So for example, the there is a cold. Ah, let's remove the English. So how can I know when you just by hearing? How can I know na the name of cafe is 침침이 or 침침? Right. So 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요 or 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요. So there is slight nuance. Slight nuance. 침침이. Did you hear that? 침침이라는 침 침침이. 침침이라는 침침이 and I read it in one uh, intonation. 침침이라는 and 라는 this part I changed the intonation. 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요? or 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요? 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요? So there is a slight nuance difference. Slight nuance difference. So 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요? or 침침이라는 카페에 갈래요? So that's how Korean people distinguish. So, but that was a very good question. <laughs> and actually, Korean people are confused with that. Confused with feedback. Uh, confused. <laughs> confused with this too. So sometimes they ask again. Sorry, what did you say? Is the name, the name of the cafe is 침침이 or 침침? So Korean people also check. Korean people also check. That was a good question. <laughs> okay, so of course I have homework for you. Jan, Jan. So we have this chame. Chame is name of the fruits, which you can find only in Korea. Well, I think maybe in other countries you can find it too, but in Korea it's so common. But I traveled in Europe and USA, uh, Northern America, or, or N 
and East America. <laughs> no, not East Southern, Southern East Asia, and some Asian countries. But I don't find this fruit, so I guess it's Korean Korean fruit. <laughs> so it's fruit. It's Kore I would say it's a Korean melon, and the texture is like cucumber, but taste is like melon. <laughs> so chame quail means fruit. Kimbap seaweed roll, seaweed rice roll. And 음식 means food. Oh, we already did this example. 제주도 is name of the island and 섬 means island. So can you conjugate these words with 이라는? 이라는? Please be careful. You need to put name first and category come next. The word order is different. <laughs> so be careful. And please leave a comment on our YouTube channel and Facebook account of Korean Class 101. Mm -hmm. Or if you personally want me to check your homework, well, this is my Instagram ID, so please tag me on Instagram story and let me know. Um, Instagram story or Instagram post. I'll check and leave a comment or give you feedback, correction for you. Okay, you can take a photo. <laughs> I know a lot of you who a lot of people make a screenshot <laughs> these days, so I want to give some time. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, uh, and for those of you who just joined the live, uh, we are now doing... Actually, it's not three days left. I get this image three days <laughs> before today. That's why it's three days left. That time there was three days left, but it's actually ending very soon. Supposed to end tomorrow. So check it out if you want to learn Korean with thousands of Korean lessons, PDF lesson notes, and also our teacher's help, premium study tools, tons of vocabulary list, <laughs> word bank, flashcard, dictionary. I cannot list them all, but check it out if you want to learn at 40% off. Okay. <laughs> Next week, I'll be back with a new lesson. It will be 1 p.m. in Korean time and every Thursday as usual. I'm going to talk about some Korean review tactic because a lot of people say, Teacher, I learned Korean and I forget. I understand. I understand. That happened to me too because I learned language too. <laughs> I learned... I learned English, Japanese, and French, and I know, I totally understand you as a language learner myself. So I'm going to introduce you some review tactics, some useful and helpful review tactics. So it will be March 30th, so please, please, please join it. <laughs> so 감사합니다, 감사합니다. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. 감사합니다. 짱, 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. And 침침어스 say bye bye too. <웃음> 다음 주에 봐요. 안녕히 가세요. Bye bye. 아쇼, 아, 아쇼, 맞아요. 꽃들이 활짝 필 거예요. <웃음> and Wendy, oh, if you join next time, I'll write it down for you. <웃음> Stress. 아, Live 보다 맞아요. So you're watching live now. 안녕, 수미. <laughs> oh, happy Ramadan and Ira and Amy, Jedi, Cody, Sumi, uh, Emily, Ira. Drove long time. <laughs> Kwati, 